from Publix EOC, a very nice guy, about Larry Page, Google co-founder. So I was born at a time when like I was more close to Mark Zuckerberg in the 2000s and Google's initiation. Like I was very young, so I have, hadn't read much about the founders. I was reading about him lately. And Larry Page is, uh, I have to say, a genius, a very different personality from rest of the internet entrepreneurs and very unique because some of them you know tend to have shared characteristics but here this guy is very different first of all you notice the form that the most developed mounts are venus it's very developed uh, very very developed and the other is moon so what happens is that venus gives a person you know the passion and moon gives person the creativity so when these two are combined, you have a person who, uh, you know, like uh, with uh, they cannot do anything without passion and they cannot do anything which is not creative. So by combining both, he was able to, you know, study, um, go for higher studies. And, you know, I think Google was formed on the basis of, a, of his PhD thesis background, along with uh, Sergey Brin, who is the second co-founder. So we also see that the lines are very unique. We see that the heart line is exceptionally long. Now when the ex heart line is exceptionally long, many people, you know, misassume that the person won't get rich because he is very selfless. But that's not true. The person has more of a philanthropic mindset and ideal, very idealistic. Like things should, um, like they see things should not be like this. Things should be like this, like a lot. Of course, we all have uh, that mindset, but uh, these people, they tend to like actually, you know, like uh, rely on idealism throughout their life and shape the world in their own image so even his work management style was very uh, unique if you read that as well and we see that the headline and lifeline of the headline is yellow the lifeline is purple now they are joined for a very long time maybe in their 30s um, so this shows a very closeness for family and uh, of course i think his father had a phd in computer science and he himself said that his brother father home environment that influenced him a lot so the influence from the home environment that it happens when the headline and lifeline are joined for a considerable amount of time then we see that he has two fate lines basically one is this uh, fate line which is coming from the mount of moon again this red one this means that the person uh, you know they need public approval and uh, of course when google was launched you need someone's investment so a lot of businessmen have this so public approval is related to, to this thing and then we see this line sorry and then we see the lifeline is um, um, not ending but it's going very what do you say very light after this after the 40s so that means that um, he was uh, even though from 25 i would say he was comfortable because at 25 he founded google with sergey brin but the thing is he started relaxing in his 40s because before that he was working hard so the amount the amount we exert ourselves is shown by the lifeline and when it becomes light, it means we are exerting ourselves less. Then we see that the sun line, the sun, uh, there are actually two sun lines very interestingly. That one is from the Mount of Moon again, which shows success from public approval. And the other is from the Mount of Upper Mars. So Upper Mars is basically, uh, uh, it's a line uh, which, uh, like if it emerges from here, this means that from the 40s, there is a new kind of success going on. Maybe there was something he long to do and he couldn't do it like even though he had millions there was something he wanted to pursue so there's that so uh, he is very philanthropic uh, I, he and his wife also donated 15 million to the ebola cause so here we see that uh, very philanthropic and this guy is very unique because the venus and moon ones are heavily heavily developed so he will have a unique thing in life so he is also uh, exceptionally stubborn seen by the hand very uh, thumb very fixed and the thumb like if you see this fellow it's like very waist shape which shows that the person is very what you say if we see I, I'll make it clearer this is waist shape which means that the person is very good with uh, talking giving conferences and then we see the phalange this shows stubbornness willpower but also it sh uh, shows what you uh, say perfectionism so he's a very perfectionist guy and his idealism means that uh, not everyone would get along with with him in in life and stuff but uh, for such a brain uh, due to the partnership they succeeded and at a young age become became millionaires and google is just wow it's one of the best things to have ever happened to the internet 
Thank you so much for watching. Look forward to the next video, which is Sergey Brin Bombardier. Thank you so much.